Can you believe I followed a guy to another country? <laughs> like, even to this day, I can't believe that. I followed... A to my youtube channel so i'm in a rush and you know i just wanted to do something very quick something very easy something very nutritional that's going to feed me while i'm eating and going on the road so i just thought i would let you guys know on how i do my favorite 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 thing to eat that's quick and easy and that is smashed evo and egg so it is really really delicious it's nutritional as you know avocado has omega-3 fats which is great no it's not omega-3 it's actually got good fats which is great for your skin and of course with the bread it has to be brown bread and um, the egg so some nice protein some nice good fats and you will get that nutritional snack on the go okay so all you need is an egg one egg because I have like normally one toast um, you but you can have two eggs so you can have two toast slices of toast and then avocado I got this one it's very convenient it's not messy you don't have to peel an avocado it already comes pre-packaged it already comes um, spiced already so this one is lime and coriander freshly smashed Ever from Woolworths okay and then you have to have lemon this we're gonna slice it up put it on the end because lemon brings out the flavor in anything on fish on meat on anything that's why at restaurants they put a slice of lemon because it literally boosts the foods flavor and then of course some olive oil and brown bread so it's easy easy peasy lemon squeezy let's start okay now i'm going to be starting oh this is a heavy pan putting it on the fire so i need to tell you a, a quick story time as i'm doing this about what happened to me when i was in love back in the day can you believe I followed a guy to another country. <laughs> like, even to this day, I can't believe that. I followed a whole guy to another country. So what happened was we were at school and there was an, an exchange program and there was German students that came to the school and on, a, on an exchange program. And one of these German guys, obviously, was very good looking. Um, I remember him. His name was Philip. Philip. And um, yeah, we, we, we hit it off. We hit it off. We had a very good thing going. And it was, you know, he was even my date at our matric dance. And then it was time for him to go so what i'm doing right now is i'm warming up the oil the olive oil okay i'm going to warm up a little bit while i'm warming up the olive oil i'm going to put the slice of toast in the toaster okay so we've got the brown bread and then one slice because your girl's trying to be eat two slice you know I know we like thick girls, but see, sometimes summer's around the corner. All right, so, so Philip was in my school on a German exchange program, and your girl was head over heels with Philip. Or should I say he was head over heels with me, because, you know, African beauty. We ended up dating, and after the year had finished, it was time for Philip to go home. And... 
I was so, so sad about it. And his parents came and they had lunch with my parents. Okay, so now we're getting a nice little sizzle. I like, while it's sizzling, what I like to do is I like to put it on like a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. Not the regular salt because that's like full of iodine. So get the natural salt from the Himalayan mountains. That pink Himalayan salt, that's the one. And just a little bit. There we go. So anyway, so Philip's mom and dad have a chat with my mom and dad. And they and then we all organ we all organize that listen, it's fine if I can go and visit and stay with Philip in Germany. <laughs> was that a mistake? At the time I, I didn't think it was gonna be a mistake, but looking back now, that was a big mistake. Following a boy to another country in his natural habitat. Not the best idea. So anyway, we, they, my parents agree. My, my dad, imagine a whole taxi driver. Uh, we agree and we go to Germany and I stay in this small town called Narofen. Narofen or something like that. And I stay with Philip for like, I think it was six months. And it was lovely. The only black girl in that small, small town. They had, they had never seen, they had never seen black people there before. So you, as you can imagine, I was like an attraction of the show. That sounds like the toast is ready. All right. I'm going to leave it like that. I don't like using this pan because it burns the egg. So, Philip, being in his natural habitat, what I'm going to do now is I am going to put the avo on the toast. Oh, I love this toast like this. How do you guys like your toast? I know some people like it black, black, black. Some people like it like a golden brown like this. But for me, this is the perfect toast because it has the perfect crunch, right? So anyway, your girl goes to Germany. She's the only black girl there. I learned, I learned how to speak German. And uh, I'm in love. I'm thinking I'm going to marry this nigga, you know. And yo, the guy changes on me. I need to say like, like a he's in his natural habitat. He just switches up on me and starts like acting funny. And um, I just see like small little things like he wouldn't want to go out with me as much as he used to. He'd stay out late and leave me with his mom and dad. Imagine. And then it would be like excuses after excuses until one time we had like a fight. We had this huge fight. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a chopping board and I'm going to slice the lemon. Like we said earlier, lemon adds some flavor. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to slice lemon in half. Okay. Drizzle some of that lemon juice onto your toast. Ooh, I feel like Nigella from MasterChef. <laughs> I really could do like this chef thing. I mean, it's just egg and toast, so it's nothing special. And then, oh boy, invites a girl on like at, at his party at his house, okay? She's cute, right? Cute German girl. And then um, I can see they've got something going on. So then I approached him, I said, Philip, what is going on? You've been very distant towards me, you know? You're not, you know, you're leaving me with your mom and dad. You never take me anywhere. You know I'm from South Africa. I don't have any friends here. I'm the only black girl in this village. I can't even speak German. What is going on? And then Philip was like, no, it's nothing, you know, but people miss me. I haven't been home in, in a long time, so I'm connected with my friends. So I'm like, if you're connecting with the friends, why can't you take me along? So it blows up into this huge fight. And then this guy has the audacity. 
at Mimi. Well, if you want to go home, go. I was like, what? I'm an Aries. So you know the Aries in me was like, what? He says to me, no, if you want to go home, go home. Go back to South Africa. Go back to your country. I never said, come and follow me. Oh, was I not heartbroken? Because I genuinely actually really loved this guy. And, he, and I followed him all the way, halfway around the world, only for him to tell me that I need to just go. Anyways, I decide that, you know what? I'm actually, I am going to go. I am going to go. My dad said, so I'm going to go. So I call my dad and my mom and I'm in tears. My mom is like, I'm in tears. I'm in tears. I'm in tears. I'm in tears. I'm in Plus, I call Miss Germany and I call Miss Germany. I call Miss Germany. I understand you're good. I'm in tears. I'm in tears. I'm in tears. My mom is like, I said, I'm in tears. I'm in tears. Book me a ticket. I say to Philip, okay, this egg is a little bit burnt, but you know what? It doesn't matter. The crunch. It's all about the crunch. So I'm going to take the egg out and then gently put it onto the avo, like that. All right? I've already seasoned the egg, okay? I've already seasoned the egg. I've, I've put some um, nice lemon drops on it. And then, did I season the, okay, there's no need to season that. And then, so I went home after that. Oh, the night before that, like two days before that, I tell him, I said, guess what? I'm actually going to go home. I'm going back to South Africa, back to my mom and dad. I thought his, his reaction had me on another level. I thought he was going to say, oh, baby, I'm so sorry. Listen, I've been, I'm so weird, blah, blah, blah. Please stay, don't leave. Hey, this guy said to me, oh, when are you leaving? <laughs> when are you leaving? When are, I'm going to take you to the airport. My heart, I don't know how I recovered from that. I thought he was the love of my life. I thought I was going to have German kids. I thought I was going to relocate and stay there. Went back to South Africa with my tail between my legs because I followed a boy all the way to another country. So here's a lesson to you ladies and gents. Be sure of the people that you follow and you think that you want to have babies with and you think that you're going to marry because they might just tell a best at you or they might just flip you. They might just trick you into thinking that they love you, but they actually really don't care don't care it's all about them and their agenda so anyway i went home i stayed I, I took a gap year after that and then i went to varsity after that but he never did contact me he i never received anything from facebook it was facebook back in those days there was no instagram there was no twitter so i used to check my facebook and see if they sent me anything there was nothing nothing from this guy so yeah lesson learned once upon a time mrs mops followed a boy overseas and it ended up in tears <laughs> so okay my quick snack is ready here you go famous ever on toast i like the egg slightly wet um my avo and with a little drizzle of lemon and now i'm going to sit down and indulge Okay, so this is my quick and very, very easy snack, which I love so much because like I said earlier, it does have nutritional value with the avo, with the toast, with the egg. And I find that, it, you know, I get full very quickly. So the one slice is perfect for me and it sustains me for like literally half the morning. By the time it's about 12 or 1, you know then i can eat so it's great 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 so let's dig in and have a taste of what of the ever so yeah girls and guys you must know yourselves mm. Mm. 
It's so good. Even if I do say so myself, and I do, it's brilliant. Mm -hmm. Don't follow people around. Know yourself. Let me pour my juice. Know your worth. And just always, 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 always be safe. If somebody says, let's go check where they're from, who are their parents, background, what do they do? Are they legit? Not trying to con you or rob you. I mean, I knew this boy's parents, but still. Following a guy all the way to another country. Not very clever of me, but I was only 18 years old, so... Yeah, the things we do for love. So yeah, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Me making an Avon toast. And I had fun. I need to go and do my thing. But thank you for liking. And thank you for commenting. And also don't forget to subscribe. And tell your friends to subscribe to my channel. Until next time.